One final little tack on regarding deplatforming and uh, its value is that Steve Bunnell, the carpet cleaner himself, after going on a diatribe about how Republicans should get shot more, uh, was banned from Kick. And that may seem inconsequential. Destiny sw- uh, streams to multiple platforms. Um, he had a multi million dollar contract with Kick, so it is presumed that his behavior has cost him. Uh, quite a bit of money as a result of evil Eddie flipping the switch on them, which really raises the question. Surely, I think I don't know for sure, but surely that my my streams on Kick bring more viewers to Kick than Destiny's. Ever. Where's my multi million dollar contract? Why do I? How do I keep missing these opportunities? I'm not even verified on Rumble. I know I I don't know. Maybe I'm overestimating my worth. I'd say I probably deserve a multi million dollar contract. Um. I think Eddie did. Eddie, uh, you can't. Eddie, Eddie juiced us a hundred, uh, um, so, like followers a while ago, but he can't do that anymore because his platform only uses Stripe to pay out, and Stripe banned my account, and I just can't replace that. So now it's like I can't make any money on on Stripe or Kick. I'm advertising his platform for free chat. Disgusting, I know. Um, I don't know what this is. One second. Oh, I have to click all the bridges. I love clicking bridges. Oh, I'm so good at it. I did the first time. What is this supposed to be? Because right now this is just a link to... One second. I don't know I fucked this up. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, give me a second. It's worth it's worth opening. Um, since Destiny pissed off the entire internet again, uh, people have been digging into him. Kind of like with Sam Hyde, his tweet went viral, so people dug up the Marky shit, and that uh, kind of spread around. This is an old message from Destiny. And I may not be able to show it up on my browser, but I'll um, read it to you. Because that's just not loading. I think Archive is having some issues right now. Okay, I will read it for you. Max Carson, the pedophile, um, who is friends with Vito the pedo, um, to clarify, Max Carson went by the screen name Mr. Girl. He did a lot of videos about domestic abuse being funny to him, and uh, they made a video about how he wanted to rape the 13-year-olds in the movie's cutie. Uh, Made a tweet saying, Poll for women, at what age did men start ogling you or flirting with you? And his intention with this tweet was to indicate when, when, when a girl becomes a woman and therefore it's okay for him to want to fuck them. It has the options 11 to 12, 13 to 14, or 15 to 16. A girl named uh, Courtney at Big Titty Goth GF9 says 10, indicating that her uh, men started sexually harassing her uh, at 10 years old. Uh, Destiny decides to respond to this in good taste and says, were you hot at 10? Any pics? And then Courtney, I guess, replying to this like tongue in cheek, cause it's obviously a gross message says check DMS. And then there's a bunch of emojis. Omni liberal replies. And it's, I mean, it's apparent that he didn't receive anything, but he says, Jesus, I've never wanted to bend somebody over the hood of a little tykes so bad, uh, which is probably in poor taste. I would say. I would like it if I could show this message. I wonder if he's deleted it, the fucking coward. I think this message is live. Oh, it's not live. Go figure. That's crazy that he deleted this message. I didn't expect that. And then finally, to rub some salt into the wounds, um, one of Destiny's uh, fuck around and find out girlfriends Uh, decided to post some intimate information about him, which I'll now read. Um, And this is a Discord exchange where Destiny uh, shows her um, imprints on his arms and bruises on his arms from BDSM, I think. Or from bite marks, I'm sorry. And then in this Discord exchange... um, see who's who message a says you're welcome you said you were bisexual no catching or throwing i guess you just like the idea of men i'm doing a biphobia to you i assume that this is lav uh, asking destiny if he really sucks dick 
which he does, in case you're wondering. He's um, sucked dick, but he couldn't, he su- he's not very good at it. Like most things in life, Destiny is actually very bad at sucking dick, so he couldn't get a guy to finish. Because I guess the guy's looking down at this little goblin who's like trying to choke on his cock, and he's just like, this is actually disgusting. What am I doing with my life? Which is a very um, poignant point in someone's life, especially if they're homosexual. He has to be doing a particularly bad job. At that <laughs> there's a quote from um Schmorky talk like trying to talk about a blowjob, and because he's like gay, <laughs> and he does, he's like a tranny, he doesn't want to think about giving a blowjob or whatever, and he says like, um, I, I you give a blowjob and you do a particularly good job at that situ- situation. It's like the most awkwardly clunky ERP ever designed. Um, that's what I was referencing. Just as a head up. Destiny says, uh, it's uh, kind of weird. Men are gross, to be honest. So I guess one kink I can say is that I have a huge, huge cum fetish. I love someone making out with me after... Ew, ah. Bro, that's fucking gnarly. Yeah, I can't... I, dude, just reading it, like, upsets me. He likes the idea of snowballing. I can say that, because I don't want to read that paragraph. He then continues... And it's big enough that it's really hot for me to suck it out of a guy, too. I love giving head to guys. No desire to do much else with them. Lab says, that's interesting. That's one of mine, too. I feel powerful taking cum from them. And then she correctly spells cum as instead of, like, cum hither. Destiny says, hmm, well, I guess that's one way to view it. I think a lot of people can have different power views related to sex, for sure, Yeah. She asks, what's another kink you have? He says, ha, ha, ha. I guess the cum eating is the most extreme. I said I'm pretty vanilla. I don't know why, but I like feet, too. Rubbing them, nibbling on them while I'm fucking someone is super, super hot to me. She says, ah, kink shames. And then he says, fuck you, bitch. Smiley face. This goblin is in a prison of his own design. He's a literal dick-sucking goblin. He can bathe this man as much money as he wants, but he can't keep a woman. Oh, no woman will ever love Destiny or stay with him for a long enough period of time because you can't pay a woman enough money to pretend to love somebody um, or to actually love somebody. You can pay them to pretend. But when you're a dick-sucking cum goblin like Destiny, it literally is... There is no way for a woman to respect him. He will always just be a little dick-sucking cum goblin and will never be a real man, which is quite sad if you think about it, chat. I have a special outro song picked up for Destiny, by the way, which is very gross, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!